Hello friends, welcome to the world of Lean Six Sigma. I am Mohit Sharma, your mentor and coach on Lean Six Sigma issues and problems. In today's video, we are going to discuss some commonly used analytical tools. When we work on a particular project, either we have data or we don't have data. So when we have data, then our data could be discrete. When our data is discrete, it could be our project Y is discrete and X is discrete. In that situation, we will use Pareto chart and chi-square test. So these are the two commonly used tools when my Y and X both are discrete. And when your X and Y both are continuous in nature, we will use regression analysis. That is the kind of analytical tool that the project teams are using. When our Y is continuous and X is discrete, we will use box plot and one way ANOVA test. And the fourth situation is when you do not have any data associated with the project Y or X. So in that case, you will use fishbone and YY analysis. Let's go to Minitab and see how these tools are run in Minitab with data. So in this particular worksheet, I have data of error types and count of error in column C4 and C5. So in column C4, the errors are spelling mistakes, punctuation errors, address errors. All of these are different types of error types that I have listed in column C4. And then you have data of count of errors in column C5. So this is discrete data. How you are going to analyze this data? This can be done with the help of a Pareto chart. And how you can create a Pareto chart? Stat, quality tools and Pareto chart. Under defects or attribute data, you will enter errors, which is column C4. And under frequencies, you will enter count of errors. And click OK. So this is the kind of Pareto chart that you will receive. If you look at the first three error types, which is SC, AE and RE are contributing to 81.7% of overall errors. So it means when the team is analyzing this data, if they work on these three error types, they'll be able to reduce 81.7% of the errors. The team leader can create a training plan and can address these three error types only. And the team will be able to impact 81.7% of the errors. Moving on to the second type of discrete data, when your X and Y both are discrete and you are trying to analyze whether this X is impacting my project Y or not. So for example, in column C1, I have data of defects or no defects on a particular transaction. And then I have in column C2, the data of shift, whether the shift was morning shift or evening shift for which this data was collected. And what we are trying to analyze is whether morning team is doing better uh, than the evening team or vice versa. So let's see what happens. And the test that we have to do in this particular case is called chi-square test. Stat tables chi-square test for association. Under rows, you will enter column C1. Under columns, you will enter column C2, which is shift. Click OK. The p-value of this test, if it is less than 0 0.05, it means shift is impacting the defects. So it is less than 0 0.05 in this particular case, which is 0 0.000. So the shift is impacting the project Y, which is defects or not a defect. Let's see which shift is doing better and which is not. If you see this particular row, which is defect row, and you see the evening and the morning shift. So evening shift was supposed to make 6.7 defects. They have created no defect. And morning shift was supposed to make 6.2 errors, but they have made 13 errors. So it means morning shift is not doing as per the required standards. So whatever has been done as a best practice in evening shift can be implemented to the morning shift. All right, moving on to the next part of this video, which is talking about the continuous data. 
so the next part of the video will talk about continuous y and continuous x so in my column c4 i have call time in a call center and in column c5 i have hold time what we are trying to understand here is when the hold time increase whether the call time increases or not is there a relationship between hold time and call time so when my both project y and x are continuous i will use simple linear regression test friends you can buy my authored books on amazon my first book is eight steps to problem solving which talks about six sigma concepts and my second book is continuous improvement the lean way which talks about the lean concepts and for that we are going to use fitted line plot so we will go to stat regression and fitted line plot under response by we will enter column c4 which is call time under predictor we will enter hold time and we will click ok so in this particular graph you can see r square adjusted value which is 92.4 percent so this r square adjusted value should be greater than 65 percent to say that there is a strong correlation between hold time and cycle time and you can see the slope of the line which has been created so when my hold time is increasing my cycle time is also increasing so if i have to control the call cycle time in a call center i have to reduce the hold time during the call the second type of analysis is when your y is continuous and your x is discrete so in this particular case you will use one way anova so there are more details to these particular analysis if you want to understand all these in detail you can refer to my hypothesis testing video on my channel i will attach the link of that in the description box below but for now let us understand what happens if my y is continuous and x is discrete so in this particular case we will use one way anova what the team is trying to understand is time in minutes versus the type of induction suppose you have two inductions and you want to choose which induction system is better which is giving you faster results in terms of heating the food items if you want to boil water on these particular induction then you have done that on various number of occasions and you have recorded that data you want to see which induction is giving you better results in terms of lesser time taken to boil your water you will do a test called one way anova because your induction type is discrete and your data which is in minutes is continuous and the path for that is stat anova one way under response you will have time in minutes and under factors you will have type of induction and you will click ok so p value of this test indicates that it is not a significant factor it means induction one sorry it means that induction a and induction b both are statistically similar in terms of heating the water so there is no distinction between these two if this value would have been less than 0.05 we would have said induction a or induction b is better by looking at the data but if you look at the data below in which induction a the mean is 7.9 and for induction b it is 8 minutes so they are not very different in terms of values they are very close to each other hence induction a and b are warming up the water in similar times the next thing that we are going to learn is about box plot when your data which is your project y which is continuous as i said which is to be tested which is discrete which is x so for example in column c7 we have cycle time data and in column c8 we have associates so these are the associates which are taking some time to process the transaction their times have been recorded on different occasions in column c7 so a box plot can determine whether associate bs as cd which associate is doing better so how to create a box plot you go to graph you go to box plot and you check box plot with groups and you click ok under graph variable you will enter cycle time and under categorical variable you will enter associates and you will click ok so if you look at these three associates 
associate CD is taking maximum time. If you put your cursor there, it will show you what is the median. Median is 8.7 minutes. If you put the cursor on associate BS, it will tell you the median is 7.18. And if you put cursor on associate AS, it will tell you the median is 4.88. It means associate AS is taking minimum time to process the transaction. This is the pictorial way of identifying whether this particular agent is different or not. But there is a statistical way as I have already explained one way ANOVA test. So we can perform one way ANOVA test for this particular case as well and see whether statistically they are different or not. We will go to STAT. As you already know the path that we will go to STAT ANOVA one way. Here in response we will enter cycle time and in, SO in factors we will enter associate and we will click OK. Now you look at the p-value of this particular test. So the p-value of this test is 0, 0.000 which indicates that associates are can be distinguished as per their cycle time. So they are different from each other in terms of processing the transactions. And how are they different? You can go to this particular graph where the means are being separated. So you can see AS is taking 4.6 minutes versus CD who is taking 9.027 minutes. So what it indicates is that there is a huge difference in processing time of AS, BS and CD. So friends, uh, this is about data and when you do not have data in your system, then you will use fishbone and YY analysis. So in fishbone, I have a detailed video on fishbone and YY analysis. I'll attach the link of these videos in the description box below for your reference. So friends, I hope you understood what are the commonly used analytical tools and their mini tab application. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. I will see you in my next upcoming video. Till then, take care. Bye bye. Friends, you can buy my authored books on Amazon. My first book is 8 Steps to Problem Solving which talks about Six Sigma concepts. And my second book is Continuous Improvement, The Lean Way, which talks about the lean concepts.